Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy is one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division. And a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is gonna need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So at least on paper, even match up here. A lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The problem! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Havana, Cuba, the chosen one. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Snapped off the jab nicely there. And he eats a kick. Tagged all oh, good kicks. Oh, wow. Slams him right to the canvas, Joe. Changes his stance. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Joe, he missed with that straight right attempt. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body kicks are significant strikes. You're starting to wonder how much more he can take. 
Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Back to the head kick now, he lands again. Under three minutes remain in round one. Connects there with the punch. Look at this. And he's eating some shots. While he gets cracked to the head there, Joe, he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Inside leg kick. Nice. Lands a powerful kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, very nice. Straight punch. <laughs> and there's the clinch. Deep breath there and reset. He hit him with the hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Defense there, huge block. And lands a good shot. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting worse. Oh, he slams him to the ground. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds to go in round one. Body kick is blocked. Another takedown attempt here. Let's take a look at this kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. There's a powerful kick to the body. Excellent striking on display in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. To round two. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, jumping knee! Some real power shots here. These are some bombs he is throwing. Switching stances here. We show you. The total strikes. Guilty. He might get in here. Look at this. This could be it. He might be forced to tap. This choke wow. is getting tighter and tighter. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he gets the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot to be. Looking for the choke, gets the arm out of the neck, pulls him down to the ground. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This is getting tighter. He could tap any second. And he gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. Full guard here. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, he lost it. He's looking to attack off his back. There's a nice elbow off his back. Got double underhooks here. Oh, there he goes. Transition. Oh, beautiful takedown. Oh, man. Look at him now. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. That's oh. stunning. He's definitely rocked. Body kick. Look at that. He's picking him apart. Huge kicks. Even when you block 
those, they'll still stun you. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Nice body shot. Good defense there. Tags him with the left. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. And there's another excellent attempt at the submission, but can't quite finish it. And here we see a devastating suplex. Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. Starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Going orthodox now. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, you got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to oh! lose. He's trying to hang on. through. Tags him with the uppercut. Back to the inside leg kick. Nice jab. Job of oh! Oh! He's oh! Down the wow. oh, very nice. Oh! Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he's got his back. He's got double underhooks here. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Whoa! He's out! He's out! Wow! Oh, man! A huge kick for the knockout victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. Here it is one more time. Boom! And then he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone to stop for this contest. At three minutes, 28 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, the chosen So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends 
after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.